to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Yay! I wanted to do a fun intro, so I was like, let me think of something cool, but I couldn't. It was too, it, it came up too quick. But I'm really glad you're here. We have a live full body workout today, 30 minutes of work. I hope you are ready to get a little bit sweaty, but get a lot strong, because that's what we're going to be doing today. Make sure you've got your dumbbells, a mat, ranges today, just to give you an idea. I'm probably going to use, what do we got going on? I'm probably going to use anywhere from about 10, 15, and 20 pounds. So if you have that, if you have your booty band, you might want to grab that. There's one exercise or actually two exercises where you can add that if you'd like to do that. So if you have that and you want to use that, grab that. Let's get right into our warm up, and then we'll get our workout started. So let's take it first, opening up the arms here, just squeezing the shoulder blades. From here, let's take the arms up to the top, reaching nice and tall, and then exhale, let the arms come down. And let's do two more, up nice and tall, reach tall, and down. One more. Stella's pillow, thank you, Shantae, yes. Start your watches if you have not yet. Although, Stella has already knocked her pillow off once. I put it up right before the workout. So. <laughs> Hands on your hips, feet just about shoulder width apart. We're gonna go into good mornings. That means we're gonna keep a slight bend in the knee and we're gonna drive the hips back towards the wall behind you. So pushing those hips back, back flat, core engaged. Feel that stretch down the hamstring and then squeeze up. So bringing that chest just about parallel to the floor and then up. Working through this nice and slow to really just take a few seconds to feel that stretch and then back up. We'll do two more. One more. And from here, we're gonna bring it up center. We're gonna march it out, bring in the heels to the bum. If you wanna get a little bit of upper body moves here, you can do an extend and pull with the arms. This workout today, we have three different, I'll call them circuits. For the lower and the upper circuit, uh, upper body that is, we are going to work through the exercises twice and the work is gonna be on for 60, rest on for 30. We have a final circuit, all abs, one time through five exercises that we repeat just once. So the upper and the lower, four exercises we repeat twice. Three more, here's two and one. Moving on to high knees, so bring the knees up, marching it out, and you can reach the arms up nice and high and pull down, getting a little bit of a warm up as well in the core. Arm circles are gonna be next, but let's work five more. Here's four, three, two, and one. Solid stance, slight bend, big circles back. Ooh, shoulders are there. They're sleepy today, I can feel it. Three more, here's three. Oh, William, thank you. Glad you're here, thank you for that. Here's two and one. Now let's take and reach across. You can hold it for a second and then open back up. Get a twist here as well, so you can feel that in the obliques. Almost through our warm up. Two more and then we'll switch sides. Other side now, take that other arm across, hold it for a second and back. Putting just a bit of pressure here on your forearm to get a bit of a deeper stretch, but not holding the stretches, just working through them. Three more. Here's two. And one, good. Wrist circles, circling the wrists up. We're gonna start with lower body and it's gonna be all focused on the lower body. You can take it other direction with the wrist. The reason I wanted to put the lower body first is I wanted to make sure that we have the longest amount of time for the lower body to rest if you're coming to cycling. And it's also sectioning them off with upper and lower body. It's gonna make it a little in more intense for those body parts because 
we're gonna be working them for a longer duration than if we were mixing it up between lower and upper body. So let's just stretch out the hips and then we will get right into this. So taking it low into a low sumo squat, so toes out, legs out wide, bring it down, pressing back here. You can use your forearms, you can use your hands, but just opening up the hips, keeping that chest up. And let's take it to one side, hold it for a second, other side. Rocking back in between this, a few more reps. Two more, so one more each side. And then we're gonna get into our first exercise where this is if you have your band, you're gonna put that right above your knees. We're gonna go into a squat. Let me show you first. Two dumbbells up on the top, squat, leg lift, squat, leg lift. So that's why if you have that band, it's gonna be challenging, but you can add it on. If you would like, get your heavy dumbbells. We've got 60 seconds of work. We're gonna work down the list. So we're gonna work um, through the four exercises, then start back at the top. So let's grab our dumbbells, get your band on if you wanna use that, and let's do this. I decided I'm gonna get my band. Although these pants are really shiny, so I feel like my band is just gonna be like, having a wild, wild time. All right, so 60 seconds squat. We'll do one leg lift, back to the squat, the other leg lift alternating throughout for that 60 seconds. We go in three, in two, and one. Here we go. So take a second when you reach the top, get your balance, lift, squeeze, and then drop it again. Make sure you're keeping that chest up. Almost halfway. You wanna think about being between two narrow walls. So you don't want your chest to come forward and when you lift that leg, you want it just coming straight out to the side, not too far forward, not too far back. Whew. And down. Almost there. 10 seconds. Last two and one. No dumbbells for this next exercise. Keep your band on if you'd like. We're gonna bring it down to all fours. So bringing it down. You can be on your forearms or you can be up. We're gonna alternate four pulses. So we're gonna lift four, three, two, one, back center, switch it up. So keep that band right above the knees. Whew, we've got eight seconds. All right, here we go in three, in two, and one. So four pulses up. Cool band. Four. I knew that was gonna happen. And one and then switch sides. So again, you can work at your own pace. You can count your own four. That's one reason I like the fabric bands a little bit more is because they have that rubber and it usually keeps them in place a lot. A lot better than this. Now, if you're down on your forearms, make sure you're keeping a flat back. You're not rounding here or arching. Everything's nice and straight. Same if you're up on the forearms. Keeping a nice, strong, straight line. Squeezing as you lift. 10 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Good, here's three, two, and one. We're gonna bring it, we're gonna keep it on the ground, actually. We're going to do a glute bridge. So you can keep that band on if you'd like. For the glute bridge, gives you a little extra pressure. The only thing, if you're keeping that band on, please ensure that your knees are staying in line with your toes. They're not caving in. If they're caving in, no band, because that'll hurt your knees. And we don't want that. That's not fun. So one or two dumbbells right across your hips if you're using weight. We go in five seconds. Make sure the weight stays in the heels, push through the heels, and let's go. So squeeze. Drop it down straight away here. If you've got that band on, just check your knees. Make sure you don't see your knees 
falling out, falling in. If, they're, if you have the band on, more than likely, if they are gonna do anything, they're gonna cave in. So just keep an eye. Squeeze at the top, control it down. That exhale comes right here at the top. Halfway. Twenty seconds left. This next exercise, we're gonna do a reverse lunge. If lunges are not your thing, I have a modification for you. But let's finish strong here. Ten seconds left. Come on, keep going. Push and squeeze. Here's five, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, so we are gonna start. Well, after we do this exercise, we're gonna start from the top. I want you to think about the weight you've been using. If you can go up, I want you to go up for that next round. No band for the lunges. All right, so modification, you're gonna do a Romanian deadlift. So feet just about shoulder, or a little bit wider than shoulder width. Dumbbells stay close, bend in the knee, drive the hips back. If you are doing the lunges with me, which if you, if lunges do not bother your knees, please do the lunges. Reverse step, just like that. So grab your dumbbells and let's get ready. In three, two, here we go. Now I'm taking a little bit more of a hinge here at my hips, bringing my chest down a little bit to work the glutes a little bit more. If you're up straight, it works the quads a little bit more. Focusing on the glutes right now, so if you wanna take that forward hinge, go for that. And you'll feel it with the Romanian deadlift. Really working the backside as well. But shoulders rolled down and back, and back stays flat. Over halfway. Woo. So we'll get 30 seconds after this, then the same four exercises we just worked through. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, so back to the squat. If you can up your weight, do that now. Squat with the lateral leg lift. If you're using the band for those few exercises, you can do that now. Put that back on right above the knees. Ooh, 15 seconds. Forgot to take my rings off again. Dumbbells come up to the shoulders. Shoulders rolled down and back, core engaged. And here we go. Down. Squeeze. Hey, before I forget to mention this, um, we will not be here for the next three weeks for live because we're hosting a trip in Costa Rica with some amazing butt kickers. I cannot wait. So we will be gone. And then when we return, make sure to check YouTube for your local time because daylight savings is tomorrow. So depending on where you're located, time may change for you. So just keep an eye on that. But I just wanted to mention, we'll talk about that at the end of the workout too. One more time, so Jason, remind me. <sighs> Make sure you're getting that squeeze. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Here's five, <sighs> three, two, one, awesome. No dumbbells, but bring it on to all fours. Keep your band on if you'd like to. We're doing that pulse. Again, on your forearms or down. Either way, that back is nice and straight. 15 seconds. Feels extra warm today. I don't know about you, but I'm like, oh, my. I told when we have all the lower bodies in one. Five seconds. Remember, count your own four pulses, and let's begin. Keep that foot flexed as well. I know, but I'm alternating, that's why.
30 seconds. I'm kind of swapping it in and out under the knee to prevent him from. Over halfway. Whew. Make sure you're breathing. When that muscle's contracting, exhale there. 10 seconds. Come on, pulse it out. Here's four, three, two, and one. Roll it over. Oh, glute bridge. My bum is burning right now, so, oh my. But we're going for it. So grab your dumbbells for glute bridge or your dumbbell, depending on if you're using one or two. Roll it back. We go in 15 seconds. Ten seconds out. Breathing. Here's three and one. Let's go. Squeeze it up. Drop it down. Exhale at the top. Remember, take a peek at your knees, especially if you have that band on. Knees are staying in line with the big toe. Almost there, come on, 15 seconds left, you've got it. Keep it up. Woo, we got the lunges or the modification, Romanian deadlift next. Five, here's three, two, one. Nice job, oh my word, all right. Let's remove the band. My favorite thing to say is get that band out of my face <laughs> whenever I'm done with it, because I'm like, we're done, done with you. Okay, we're up now. So again, modification, the Romanian deadlift, those dumbbells stay nice and close. You're hinging at the hips, driving those hips back, squeezing up. If not, we've got that alternating rear lunge. If you wanna dig a little bit deeper into the glutes, take a forward hinge at the hips just slightly while keeping the back straight. All right, time is up. Here we go, 60 seconds. If you are taking that forward lean, make sure you're not like this with the dumbbells. Make sure they're up. So keep that chest up nice and strong. Think about sticking the chest out, shoulders back. Weight stays in the heels. Oh. Yay, halfway. And this is the last lower body exercise. We switch it up, move to upper body. So the lower body is going to have quite a nice break before we hit cycling because we've got an hour long class today over on the cycling channel. <sighs> 10 seconds. Here's five, three, two, one. Awesome. First exercise we're going into push-ups, so you won't need dumbbells. So we'll get those out of the way for now. You have the option. I don't really want to go on the wall. I'm going to face backwards. If you want to do your push-up on the wall, just make sure you take your feet out a little ways from the wall. You also have the option to do them on your knees. So bringing it out, knees here, that's your first option. Make sure those arms aren't pushing out wide, but going back here. And here we go. One more thing with your push-up, just to make sure we're, we've got the form. Arms aren't too far forward. Just like when you do a chest press, I say keep those dumbbells midline of your chest. So you want to think about that with your hands too. Not too far back, not too far out. Push through the heels of your hands. Ooh, good. Keep that body strong and straight right now. 
That's the difference between, I've said this before, when you kind of let the rest of your body go lax and you're just trying to use your arms, that's like carrying a sleeping child who's just completely limp. Keep your body strong and straight and then push through. That's like carrying a child that's awake helping you. Last one. Oh, nice. Now we're going into a kneeling shoulder press. So we're gonna be up in a high kneel position doing that shoulder press. This is gonna challenge us a little bit more with our balance. So grab your dumbbells and just, you know, mixing it up in general. It's gonna bring your core into play more. You're gonna feel it more in the glutes than if you were just standing. So bringing it down, it'll look just like this. So you don't want your legs right next to each other. Make sure you take them out just a little bit. And here we go. P.S. I'm using 15 pounds right now. Usually I would try for 20 since my shoulders are fresh. But the kneeling adds a little bit more to it. So I dropped the weight a bit. Keep that core engaged. Also with this move, if you're kneeling, make sure you're not letting your bum, still tucking the hips under, squeezing the glutes, and then pressing. Posture is so important while you're lifting to keep you safe and also to just give you maximum power. When your back starts to arch, that's when the low back can get a little questionable and we do not want that. So just constantly reminding you because I'm reminding myself as well. Five seconds, keep it strong. Two, one, nice. Ooh, we're gonna stand now. We're gonna do a reverse grip row, but we're gonna do a slow lower. So we're gonna be hinged at the hips, back is gonna be flat. We're gonna squeeze up, lower nice and slow. Now you can work at your own pace. I'm gonna try to count out eight for myself, so I'll do that for the first couple of reps so you can kind of get that tempo going. Now, if you find that hinging for the rows hurt your back, bring it on the knees and do an alternating row. So that's your option, two options. So let's hinge it over, back flat, core engaged. We bring it up, squeeze the shoulder blades, hold it for a second, hold it. Slowly, seven, five, three, two, bottom of the rep here. We're down, we squeeze, hold it. Hold it, squeeze those shoulder blades, keep those arms close. Lower down, eight. Here's five, three, two, one. We're at the bottom of the rep. Work at your own pace here. Keep it slow. Hold it at the top. Slowly lower. Nice and slow. Uncomfortably slow. And you're over halfway, so we're not getting many reps, but we're keeping good form, and we've got that slow tempo. Ten seconds. Good, here's five, four, three. If you're through that mid rep, keep going, keep going until you reach the bottom. Ooh, one, nice. Now, bicep time. We are working a hammer curl into a wide curl. I am literally pouring sweat right now. What is, uh, are you, like what is, is it just me? Oh my goodness. Such a tough one today. So hammer curl, palms face each other. Back down to neutral. Out wide, we squeeze. Hammer, you got it? Alternating between the two. The time is now, here we go. Squeeze. Keep it hammer position until you get back down. Starting position here, flip the wrist. Arms out wide, we squeeze. And control it down. Hammer curl. We're getting stronger, that's for sure. Oh, I love it when this song comes on. It, it's, a, it's a good reminder of why we're here and why we should go heavy. Whew, over halfway. Really squeeze it up, 15 seconds left. This is our fourth exercise, which means we're gonna start back at the top with the push-ups. Keep those arms nice and close to your body. Here's four, three, 
Here's two, one. Nice. So no dumbbells, but we're gonna bring it down to the mat for the push-ups. Knees, toes, or the option for the wall. Fifteen seconds. All right, ten. Let's get ready. Hey, challenge time. Try to do at least one on your on your toes if you're working for it. Try to do at least one. Here we go. Come on, keep pushing. Maybe you've done one and you're like, oh, I think I got two. Go for it. Or maybe you're alternating. A couple on the knees, then you go for another one on your toes. I wanna challenge you, have a goal to get your push-ups on your toes. It will be, it, it'll be a slow change. I'm not, I'll be honest there. But if you are consistent and you consistently try to do them on your toes, you will get them. Because I can, I can say, even for me, sometimes I still go to my knees. But when we first started the strength channel, y'all know I was not on my toes most of the time. You can go back and see that. But with consistency, the change comes. So don't forget that. Here's three, two, one. Whew, breathing, kneeling shoulder press is next. So that high kneeling position, bring those legs out just about shoulder width. We're gonna bring the dumbbells up. 20 seconds and we go. If you can go up in weight from the last time, challenge yourself and go for it. I'm gonna keep it at 15 though for this round. Whew. Let's start with that good posture, shoulders rolled down and back, bring the weights up, and here we go. Now when you're doing the shoulder press, make sure wrists are staying straight. And in order to keep the wrist straight, you need to make sure that that weight is near your wrist. So it's resting right in the heel of your palm there. And then the fingertips just gently wrap around to kind of control the dumbbells. And press. Ooh. Over halfway. And I am hitting failure right now with the shoulders. How you doing out there? Keep it strong. Keep going. 15 seconds. Reverse grip. Row is going to be next with that slow lower. Here's three, two, one. Good, we bring it up. Reverse grip. So with that reverse grip, hold it for a second at the top, control it down. I'll let you go at your own pace this whole time, but keep it slow. And again, you have the option to be on your hands and knees kneeling if you find that it's hurting your back to do the bent over row. Five seconds, reverse grip, palms are out, hinge at the hips, back flat. Here we go, squeeze, hold it, hold it, and control it, nice and slow. Good. Exhale as you bring that weight up and you hold it, contract. Think about those shoulder blades as you bring it up here at the top and you squeeze. Think about those shoulder blades wrapping around your spine. Slowly lower. 15. Ooh, you got it. Come on. Take it nice and slow. Five, three, one. Good. Hammer curls to wide curl next. 30 seconds out. Can we do, can we do three exercises for abs? We'll be quick. We'll do three exercises. All right, we're, we're, running, we're running out of time. I'm really sad. So instead of five exercises for abs, we're gonna pop it for three 
And then while you're waiting for the cycling workout, I'll show you the next two exercises so you can add those in. How about that? Hammer curls to wide curl. Here we go. Here's curl and down. Take it wide. Now when you're doing your bicep curls, make sure those arms are staying nice and close. So the arms are kind of pinned here into your side. Shoulders rolled down and back. We're not out here trying to lift. So hips tucked under. You have the option for a wide stance here in this as well. I just feel like when I'm doing bicep curls, sometimes my legs get in the way. So I like to have a little bit more of a narrow stance so I can reach all the way down to the bottom of that curl. 15 seconds. Almost there, five, three, two, one. Nice, all right, quickly let's bring it down to the mat. We're gonna do, I'm doing this one with you first because I feel like if I told you guys to do this one, you'd be like, oh, never mind. Side plank hip drop. So we're gonna be up and down. Modification, bottom leg is down. You're lifting and lowering. 30 seconds of work, one time through. So going in eight seconds and then 15 seconds of rest. So it's just gonna be very quick. And here we go. So we lift, squeeze, and drop. Whew. Make sure you've got your elbow and shoulder in line here. So you don't want your arm too far out or too close to your body for that matter. We're just gonna switch sides next. Here's six, here's four, three, two, one. Switch it up, other side. 15 seconds, so same thing, other side. Modification, you're gonna keep that leg down. We go in 10 seconds. Five seconds. Here's three, here's two, and one. Drive those hips up, squeezing the glutes as well. So remember, when we're working the core, think about squeezing, well, for, even for good posture, think about squeezing that belly button into your spine. Five, three, two, one. Nice, reverse crunch is going to be next. So let me show you what it looks like. Hands right next to your bum, not under your bum. You wanna be able to keep your back flat to the ground. We're gonna lift and lower. Here's two and one, let's go. Really get those hips up. Come on, squeeze, get those hips up. So two more exercises after this, but we're gonna head get the cycling channel ready, so I'll show you those exercises. So if you wanna do those while you're waiting for cycling, hey, you can even repeat this and do it twice if you wanted. The abs, anyways. And squeeze. Here's five, three, two, one. Awesome. So breathe it out. Let me show you those two exercises if you want to go for them. We're going to keep working the obliques. Legs can be out or bent. And we're going to crunch. So side crunch here. These are the two options. More intense, modification, just like this, one side and then the other. So finish those out, 30 seconds, 15 seconds of rest. I wish we could do them, but we gotta go switch for the cycling workout. I love you so much, cannot wait to see you for the cycling workout. If you can't make it, do not forget to get a stretch. And next week, for the next three weeks, we will be gone. Make sure to check your local time because uh, daylight savings time is tomorrow, so do not miss that. I love you so much, see you soon.